Welcome to Dezavi Productions. My name is Dezavi. Today, I'm going to show you how to export stems or track outs using Pro Tools. Exporting stems is when every instrument is individually exported into its own track. This is essential for professional mixing and mastering. This allows the mixing engineer to fine tune every instrument individually, resulting in the best mix possible. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so here we have a beat that I made, and as you can see, I have every track named according to its instrument. And the idea is to get every track exported into its own individual file. Now, the first thing we need to take a look at is the clips list. We do that by going to the top where it says View, Other Displays, and select Clip List. Another way to access the clip list is by going to the bottom right-hand corner where the zoom in and zoom out buttons are. To the right of that is a little arrow with a little bar, and if we click that, it hides or unhides the clip list. As you can see, we have quite a lot of clips here. If we try to export this out as is, Pro Tools will export every single clip individually and that is not what we're trying to do. In order for this to work, we have to consolidate the clips. We do that by going to the very end of our song. In my case, it's going to be the bells here at the bottom. And I'm going to click and drag from the end to the very beginning, basically our entire song. And as you can see, we have a bunch of clips highlighted. So we're going to go to the top where it says Edit. And we're going to go to Consolidate Clip. taking some time, taking some time. All right, so now we have all of our clips consolidated into one. So all of our tracks here are the same length. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the top on the right hand side of the clips and we're gonna right click here. You can either right click here or do Shift Command K and go to Export Clips as Files. And here we're gonna have the Export Window. If you wish to have the highest quality, you're going to switch it from MP3 to WAV. And if it's a stereo track that you're working with, you're working with stereo tracks here. You're going to want it as interleaved. You can choose your bit depth here, your sample rate here. And here we have a destination directory. So let's go ahead and choose where these are going to go. And I'm going to have a folder here that says trial. And I'm going to go open. I have now selected the file that it will go to. And I'm going to prompting for each duplicate. And I'm going to select export. And it is now exporting every single track individually into its own file. Now that it's done exporting, let's go ahead and check the files to make sure that everything was done correctly. Now for us to check it, let's go ahead and listen to this instrumental. Fast forward it here. Okay, so that's what our instrumental sounds like. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open another session and I'm gonna import the files that we just exported. File, close session, save, file, create new, and we're gonna call this exported stems. And we're going to change this to Stereo Mix Create. Let's go ahead and create an audio track. And we're going to call this Dezavi Dialog. Now that you can hear me, let's go ahead and import those files that we just exported as stems. So we're going to go to the top where it says File, Import, Audio. And here we have all those files. Let's go ahead and select all of them. And we're going to click Add, Open, and we're going to add them as new tracks. So here we have those files. Let's go ahead and play the beatback to make sure that everything is in order.
As you can see, it's not mixed or mastered yet. It's going to need some work. But yes, this is how you export stems using Pro Tools. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, subscribe, like, and comment as it helps us reach others interested in music production. I do music production tutorials using Pro Tools and Ableton, as well as review and demo music production equipment. Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the next session.